I've sat and watched that match. I actually watched it not too long ago with my son, Dominic. And it's a match that I still learn from. And, you know, it's a match that doesn't get old. I truly believe that if there was no Eddie Guerrero, my career would have gone a different direction. Eight years after our epic Halloween Havoc clash, Eddie and I were on better terms, but still found ourselves unable to resist the friendly competition in WWE. Holding the WWE Tag Team Championships only drove us to wonder who the better man on the team was. We both held victories over the other, but the chance to meet at the Showcase of the Immortals, WrestleMania, was something we couldn't pass up. For the first time ever, two tag team champions would go one-on-one -on -one at the grandest stage of them all. We both knew what this match meant to the other, and it's what made it so fun to go out there and try to take the glory for ourselves. With no hard feelings, of course. You know, I've, I've always said that it was always very cool to just compete against Eddie. With all the extra personal stuff, Eddie has always had my respect, you know, and a year removed from being WWE champions, everything he did was so flawlessly executed, like to the T. I knew this was going to be something special and another test that was yet to come. Just when you start feeling comfortable, things get out of control and no longer technical. Now, that was Eddie. Eddie made you feel so comfortable, and once you least expected it, there you go, over the top rope. He'd take you out of your comfort zone. I take this back to Halloween Havoc. I try to get fancy with him. He pulled me off the apron immediately. So this time, I made sure I ended up on top in the ring when I wanted to show off for a quick second. Live and learn, correct?
Always powerful, and maybe this match felt a little different, but it was always the same old story. Eddie always had an answer for everything. I should have seen that elbow coming, though. He caught me pretty good. Eddie started to get into that flow right here. I needed to make sure that I didn't let him come through with this. I figured reversing the three amigos would shake him off for a second. But it barely phased him. Before I knew it, bam! Another backbreaker, Lucha Libre style. thought that escaping the three amigos for a second was my chance when I managed to whip Eddie into the ropes I saw the opening and I took it like anyone else would but again always Eddie he knew and had incredible ring awareness another backbreaker I was really wondering if this was just not gonna be my night
So it always feels good to hit the 619, but here, when I finally connected, it felt really good. I said, let's go, man. This is gonna be it. You know, I was so close to victory. I'm ready for the springboard. I jump off the hook for the Rana, and what do you know? Eddie catches me with that power bomb again. Just brought flashbacks. I've already been here. I knew what this was all about. So again, kick off on instinct, purely. At this time, your mind is doubting and you have to make sure that you stay on track and you finish the task at hand. But then, for the first time in the whole match, I knew exactly what was coming. Eddie went for the backbreaker one more time, which he already done before, and I made him pay with the perfect Uracarana, my signature move. From feeling hopeless to beyond words that I won, I competed against Eddie so many times. He'd won, I'd win, but I swear that at WrestleMania 21, I faced the best version of Eddie Guerrero, the man. There's a small part of me that still can't believe I pulled it out. I was actually shocked. He was just on a different level that night. What a win that was for me, historical.